I used to skip stretching. I thought it was a badge of honor. I thought it was just a waste of time. But in reality, I was just setting myself up for injury. I still do not like it. It's still not my favorite thing, but I work it in two to four times a week. I try to add standing stretches like this hip flexor stretch that can also be performed in kneeling. If I eliminate the barriers and the excuses that I have for stretching, then it makes it easier for me to perform them. If I can do it in standing while I'm cooking or even a quick stretch when I'm on the ground with the kids by combining the hip flexor stretch and a hamstring stretch, it just makes it easier and just a part of my daily routine. You don't even have to hold the stretch. An active stretch is more beneficial than skipping a stretch. I also like to make stretches unique to me, raising up on my tiptoes for the down dog or even rocking side to side to feel the stretch on one side more than the other. I like down dog because it makes it easy to go into the next stretch, which is a prayer stretch. It gets my arms overhead and really stretches out my low back. You can put your hands biased to the right or left side to get any tight spots. I love this stretch because you can also do it in standing at the kitchen table or even at your bed. This standing one is easy to transition to a calf stretch, which is key for me because I hate stretching my calves. I'll just put on a fun playlist when I can and listen to the music and ignore the discomfort. Stretching needs to be part of your weekly workout routine.